It's 100% electric and produces zero emissions. It's untethered and knows no straight lines, only three dimensions. Be it a quick way to beat traffic, explore the outdoors, or commute to work in style. This is Maker, an aircraft designed with the urban traveler in mind. On the evening of June 10th, 2021, live in Los Angeles, Archer unveiled its first demonstrator aircraft of the world, known as Maker. The event was held at the Hawthorne Hang Operations, and it utilized XR technology, which took the audience on a virtual ride on Maker. Maker is a full-scale electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, popularly known as an eVTOL. It's been developed by a California-based company known as Archer, which is developing eVTOL aircraft for use in urban air mobility. Archer's goal is to move people throughout the world's cities in a quick, safe, sustainable and cost-effective manner. Now, Maker is a full-scale, two-passenger demonstrator aircraft. Its purpose is to serve as a certification testbed and enable Archer to keep pushing its key enabling technologies. On the other hand, Archer has been working closely with the FAA on their certified aircraft. This will be much like Maker, but will instead be piloted and hold four passengers. It will be open to manufacturing this year, and that is what will enter commercial operations in 2024. When it comes to exterior design, Maker has a lightweight composite structure since its airframe is manufactured from lightweight carbon fiber. Its low weight structural design is tailored for stiffness and strength. The aircraft weighs a total of 1,508 kilograms and has a wingspan of 40 feet. As for the aircraft interior, it's neatly done. It has ample leg space and a 270 degree view thanks to its wraparound window. A large 13-inch touchscreen interface is also available, which displays flight information and provides entertainment options for the passenger. Maker is fully autonomous, meaning it has the capability of operating without direct human control. How so? Well, the aircraft is equipped with multiple sensors and computers. For example, images from its downward-facing camera are used to precisely localize the vertiport in order to estimate the aircraft's relative position during takeoff and landing. On the other hand is its air data system. This detects airflow around the aircraft, sensing air pressure and speed. Flight computers use this data to understand how the aircraft will respond in regard to changes in the control surfaces and motor speeds. And how will the flight computer know whether the aircraft has touched down or not? Well, it has a weight on wheel sensor. Once armed, this sensor will detect if the landing gear is supporting the weight of the aircraft. The flight computer uses that info to know whether the aircraft has touched down or not. In comparison to traditional combustion engine aircraft, noise from the propellers of electrically powered aircraft can be reduced since they're powered by electric motors. This is because with electric motors, it's easier to deliver maximum power at a lower rotational speed. This is especially so with distributed electric propulsion. Think of traditional helicopters, whose rotor blade tips approach the speed of sound. The blades on these helicopters travel close to 450 miles an hour, which obviously generates a lot of noise. Now, instead of a single, large and loud rotor shooting up the center, Maker has 12 smaller rotors dotted along its 40-foot long wing. With this sort of distributed electric propulsion, Maker's electric motors are able to deliver maximum power while turning their propellers at low tip speeds, resulting in considerably less sounds. Hence, at only 45 decibels, Maker will be inaudible in comparison to a helicopter flying at the same altitude, which obviously generates a lot of noise. Electric motors also have fewer moving parts. Not only does this make them quieter, but also simpler to maintain and much less expensive to own and operate. Ownership costs, according to Archer, will be about 30% less than a traditional helicopter. When it comes to battery technology, Maker is powered by the Meru battery, which is Archer's lithium-ion-based system. 
it's vertically integrated and delivers a balance of high power and high energy for maximum range. It has a battery cell energy of 75 kilowatt hours, a maximum power of 672 kilowatts, and a cell voltage of 2.9 to 4.4 volts. Given this, the aircraft has a hover power worth 325 kilowatts. And speaking of hover power, congratulations to Archer, who recently completed Maker's first hover test flight on the 16th of December last year, two weeks after receiving a special airworthiness certificate from the FAA. The special airworthiness certificate signals that Maker has successfully met all FAA safety requirements to begin off-ground operations. Maker also has an advanced thermal management system, which enables fast charging and an extended life cycle. Its high power voltage distribution and redundant batteries provide high reliability and safety. When it comes to unprecedented safety, Maker is an aircraft designed for that. This is largely with regard to its redundant features. Redundancy is when components of a system are duplicated with the intention of increasing reliability in case one should fail. The aircraft is equipped with redundant motors, batteries, avionics and altitude sensors. This will enable it to fly safely regardless of any unforeseen circumstances. Maker uses distributed electric propulsion which allows Archer to design multiple redundant electric motors. It's equipped with six independent battery packs, which power its 12 electric motors. During flight, for example, Maker can tolerate an entire battery pack system failure or two motor failures. However, because of its redundant features, it can still fly safely. In fact, according to Adam Goldstein, the CEO of Archer, Maker has zero single points of failure. For comparison, most helicopters have hundreds of these single points of failure. Archer has already lined up a major customer for its planes. In fact, the company scored a $1 billion order for aircraft from United Airlines. The aircraft to be delivered in 2024 would primarily be used to transport passengers between its major hubs. It expects to initially launch in Los Angeles and Miami. The company plans to charge $3 to $4 per passenger mile or about $50 for a flight between Manhattan and JFK International Airport in Queens. With a capability of traveling a distance of up to 60 miles at a top speed of 150 miles per hour, Maker is the type of eVTOL aircraft which, in my opinion, symbolizes revolution. It's an indicator of the rapid progress being made within the battery manufacturing industry and is evidence for the current transformation happening within the aviation industry a new era of electric flight. As a demonstrator for an upcoming class of commercial aircraft, Maker boasts technological prowess, travel efficiency and sustainability. Through Archer, this is the type of aircraft making zero emission flights a reality. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, kindly leave a like, drop a comment and consider sharing it to others as well. See you next time.